Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dia. So today's video is going to be a how to speak English confidently without any fear of being judged. And this is a very very requested video. So here I am with this video, and I'm sure till the end of this video, you are going to be getting a lot of help through this video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of these points wherein when you guys will apply these points in your life, you will start to notice some positive, in fact, a lot of positive changes. in your life with your english speaking also guys before starting this video if you all are new to my channel i'm dia and i make study related content here on my channel such as study vlogs study routines and study motivation videos plus i am in 10th grade if you guys don't know and i upload videos daily for you guys you guys are getting motivation each and every single day which is absolutely amazing because i come up with videos like these every single day don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it's totally totally free there's a red subscribe button down below make sure to click it do like this video share it with all your friends and do comment down below and these are the points which are going to help you a lot in improving your english and you know speaking fluently and confidently So I've written down a few points in here, and I'm going to be sharing these points with you guys, which are going to be helping you guys a lot. So the first point is watch English movies, news, and read English newspaper. If you find words that you don't understand, then write it down and look up dictionary. So this basically means you need to watch English movies. See. Now, whenever you guys watch English movies, right? There are a lot of different words that are used. You all can look up the meaning for these words, so that there is a new word added in your life's dictionary or in your English dictionary. This helps a lot in improving your English. Reading English newspapers is also very very helpful and it's very effective too. If you all are looking to improve your English, you all can definitely read English newspapers as well. Now, if you find words that you don't understand, make sure to look up the dictionary. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to look up the dictionary because there are a lot of people who probably don't read the dictionary or who probably read the dictionary the wrong way or find the words in the dictionary in the wrong way. So, I'm going to be showing you guys the correct way. to read a dictionary ओके सो आई टेल यू गाइज हाउ टू रीड अ डिक्शनरी ओके सो सबसे पहले तो ना ऊपर यू आर गोन बी गेटिंग वर्ड्स सो से इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग डाइट सो जो भी वर्ड्स डी से स्टार्ट होते हैं यूल बी एबल टू फाइंड दैम जैसे कोई वर्ड डी से स्टार्ट होता है सो देर इज यू नो डिहाइड्रेशन डाइट और यू नो लाइक डांस तो सबसे पहले तो आपको डाइट अगर वर्ड ढूंढना है सो यू नीड टू फाइंड डी आई एंड देन वे वंस यू फाइंड ऊपर आपको लिखा हुआ मिलेगा जैसे आपको डी आई लिखा हुआ देखिए आप नीचे चेक कर सकते हो वो वर्ड्स में एंड दैट्स हाउ यू चेक दिस इज हाउ यू लुक फॉर वर्ड्स इन अ डिक्शनरी इफ यू आर प्रैक्टिस डूइंग दिस इफ यू आर लर्न एट लीस्ट टेन यू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम अ डिक्शनरी टेन यू रैंडम वर्ड्स फ्रॉम अ डिक्शनरी एवरी सिंगल डे राइट इट डाउन इन अ नोटबुक एंड देन यू नो जस्ट गो थ्रू दस दोज वर्ड्स एवरी सिंगल डे यू विल इन नो टाइम बी एबल टू यूज दोज वर्ड्स इन योर डेली लाइफ वाई आर स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश सो मेक श्योर टू लर्न एट लीस्ट टेन यू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम अ डिक्शनरी टेन एनी रैंडम वर्ड्स फ्रॉम अ डिक्शनरी so that you can use it in your english speaking which actually improves your english and your vocabulary a lot now the second point comes is be confident and speak english with friends now i know how much um fear you guys would be facing or maybe some people might face that you know i'm very i'm not very confident in speaking english i'm not very confident in speaking in english in public i'm not really confident so let me tell you guys this is actually just a fear it's not a real thing it's just an imaginary fear that you're facing basically speaking in english with friends or with people around you in family it helps you a lot because those are your comfort people right those are not the people who are going to be making fun of you right for your english speaking so just don't worry they're not going to do anything and even if they do even if they you know try to make you feel bad you don't need to feel bad because you are learning a new thing you are actually improving your life you're improving yourself you're improving your english speaking so let those people speak whatever they want to and you know what guys they are not even going to be judging you in fact they'll be with you they'll stand with you and also the most important thing the more we think people are going to be judging us the more they are not judging us they don't even care what other people are doing you know or what other people are where other people are making mistakes no one actually you know no one actually judges you it's just you who are judging yourself that what if this happens 
Now the third point comes is use dictionary. Learn a few new words and their meaning daily. Maybe write them in a notebook for reference. As I already told you guys, you know, learning new words from a dictionary actually helps you a lot. One thing that's always going to be helping you is that your vocabulary gets improved. Every single day, y'all are learning new words. Y'all are writing it in a notebook. Make a separate notebook for your English words or for your English vocabulary or for improving your English. Once you're actually done with a lot of words, once you learn a lot of words, when you go back and look at those old words you'd written when you just started, you will be proud of yourself. The fourth point comes is practice English. Talk to yourself in English. Now see, talking to ourselves, we all talk to ourselves. So whenever we talk to ourselves, we need to talk to ourselves in English. What this does is that there's no one in front of you who you would be scared of. You are never judging yourself, right? So when you speak to yourself in English, it's actually going to be improving your English. Plus, you'll be confident in yourself. Okay, I can speak in English. Now the fifth point is try to be natural. Don't try accents. Speak in your natural voice, in your natural tone. The more you speak in English in your natural tone, the more confident you're going to get. And the more you try accents, you're actually not going to be... Uh, you know, understanding how you can speak. You'll not understand yourself and you'll not understand how should you speak in English. So don't try accents. Always speak in English in your natural tone. Now the sixth point is don't be scared if you'd make mistakes in speaking or writing in English because everyone makes mistakes, guys. Now whenever you feel that somewhere you're speaking English, and suddenly, you know, you made a mistake while speaking in English or suddenly you missed a word or added an extra word in your sentence. Don't ever be scared. Okay, don't be scared. We as humans, we make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Even I make mistakes. We all are humans. We all make mistakes. So don't ever be like that. I made a mistake. What am I going to do now? I'm not getting that, that level of confidence. Don't be scared if you make mistakes. Even if it's in writing, when you're writing a test or an exam and you suddenly realize you made a mistake or even after giving the paper, you realize that in this sentence, you made a mistake in your English writing. Don't be scared. It's fine because we all learn through our mistakes and we all are human beings. It's okay to make mistakes because you are learning something through that. That mistake don't worry about the mistakes you can also make use of some English courses see whenever you're sitting and whenever you're feeling like I need to learn English or I need to make my English more better I need to be more fluent in English or I want to be more fluent in English what you can do is there are a lot of apps there are a lot of courses which which you can take for your English learning now whenever you learn from a particular course from a particular course or from a particular app you actually tend to remember that for a longer period of time or for your whole life actually because you are learning it through yourself. When you're learning English from an app, it actually guides you. It teaches you words from basic to advanced level. Y'all can look up for these language speaking apps on Google Play Store or App Store. The apps are available both on Google Play Store and App Store. There are a lot of apps. There are a lot of courses which you can take. There are a lot of apps. There are a lot of free apps that y'all can use to learn English and to be fluent in English and also to speak English confidently. You can listen to English songs. This helps in improving your English and also keeps you entertained. This is going to do is when you are going to be listening to English songs, you learn a lot of different words, a lot of different sentences used in English. You learn a lot of different English words plus listening to English music will also keep you entertained. So two things are happening at the same time. One, it'll improve your English and two, it'll keep you entertained. The most important point remember whenever you're in this journey of you know english speaking english learning always remember that you can never ever speak confidently or speak english fluently in one or two days things always take time but remember that you are going to get the result your friends your family everyone is going to notice the result your friends your family everyone is going to notice the difference which will motivate you a lot and you will succeed so always remember you cannot speak english fluently in one or two days it does not happen in one or two days you need to speak english with your friends with your family and throughout this journey you'll notice a lot of changes so always remember things take time but once they take place you will be very very motivated and you'll be very very proud of yourself that you did it and also may i say you will succeed the last point is very very helpful so listen to it speak slowly think a few seconds and pause before speaking Prepare yourself, have a positive body language and mental imagery, take deep breaths, 
focus don't fear what people will think see the first point which comes is speak slowly okay speak slowly second thing in the last point is think a few seconds and pause before speaking now when you think before speaking you'll actually prepare yourself to speak if you face a fear in english speaking so always wait a few seconds think for a few seconds think before speaking think what you're going to be saying always take a pause don't worry no one is going to judge you just take pause and prepare yourself before you speak have a positive body language and mental imagery always be positive or at least have a positive body language now having a positive body language actually puts you up in a very good mood in a very good positive aura which you're creating it yourself right also take deep breaths when you're speaking take deep breaths like this Taking deep breaths actually puts you up in a very good aura, in a very positive aura, and also it calms your mind down so you can speak or do whatever you're doing. Focus, focus on what you've learned. Focus on the new words that you learned. Focus on the movies that you watched, on the on the songs that you heard, the new words that you learned from those movies, those songs, the dictionary. So always remember these things. And the last thing is, don't fear what people will think. Don't fear, don't worry. Don't even fear what other people are going to think. And the last thing is, don't fear what other people are going to think. Okay? Just you know just be in yourself, just be confident. Be like, "Yes, I need to learn this. I need to do this and I'm going to do this." Always keep this body language, keep this mental attitude, keep this attitude that, "Okay, I'll do this and I can do this." Always be positive, believe in yourself. And eventually whatever other people will say or will think, their words will not matter to you because you are so strong you've put your mind to this thing to one thing which you are going to achieve which you have to achieve so eventually these people are not going to matter so much in your life and to be honest guys i know y'all can do it so just put your mind to it and always be positive and confident so guys that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this one and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and i know y'all can do it also guys if y'all are new to my channel i'm dia and i make study related content here on my channel such as study vlogs study routines and study motivation videos like these i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel there is a red subscribe button down below make sure to click it as it really motivates me a lot to make more such videos for you guys i come up with videos daily so make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you click the bell icon do like this video share it with all your friends and also comment on below what videos do you guys want me to make next and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so so much for watching i love you all so much bye